You know, it's amazing. Every time I try to do a video, we have, we have to always pull over for an emergency vehicle. <laughs> that seems that seemed to be my lot for life. We actually live uh, down the street from station number 13, or also known as the 13. So, so if you're a, a trick detective phobic, uh, maybe you've come to the maybe you've come to the right place better known as Brother Mark, Turner Syndrome, Butterflies in Love. Yeah, I think one important uh, rule, especially as we're coming up on our first anniversary of the, of the channel, by the way, uh, August 24th was when the first uh, video uh, officially aired, uh, a little about myself, and, and I'll, I'll share what, a little what I learned in a year, but but today, just a little optic lesson, and you deserve to be treated with dignity and respect. Anybody, butterflies, friends, uh, deserve to be treated with dignity and respect. I live in a, I work for a major utility company. Our company has a, has a uh, harassment policy. And it doesn't just apply to employees, it also imply, applies to contractors and customers. And obviously, if, and it doesn't matter whether it doesn't, it doesn't, and it, do, it doesn't matter whether you're whether it's employee or maybe there was a contract we did with COVID nineteen. We don't have too many contractors. But certainly it would apply to the security guard when we still had them. It would still apply to the cafeteria worker that if they that if they were harassed, or if they or if a customer came in to uh, into one of our stores to pay a bill and they were getting and they were getting getting harassed, then then that too uh, they would and you know, obviously the harassment policy. So we all deserve to be treated with dignity and respect. And I'll discuss a little, a little more, a little more about this. But let's discuss some, some object lesson. What happens if you're not? And I, I was think I was thinking about that this this morning. And two little two little incidents came came to mind. I actually. Had a little situation with uh, with a with a uh, with a uh, Burger King in in Cincinnati, and the the manager was, we had it was <laughs> it was, was the store was lo located close by to the, that back what was back then the uh, Synergy Field, and I'm trying to think. Uh, what the, what the original name of that, what the ballpark, what the ballpark was, Riverfront Stadium, was that it? Riverfront Stadium, man, I'm dating myself. Mm. Yeah, because we had Riverfront Stadium and Coliseum. That's it, thank you very much. Well, anyway, I went into a, went in, went into, went into Burger King, and the manager was just sitting around. He was clueless uh, how to do things. I said, you know, hey, we got a lo long line here. And the manager kicked me out of the restaurant. Well, there's a little kind of little, little, and you know, I was going to kick and scream, and uh, there was a friend with me at the time. I said, "Wow, you know what? If you don't get good service, you know, you can always vote with your feet." And it was, it was so right. A little piece of irony about that particular manager, though, is that he actually managed to. KFC and I worked for a call center and we were we were so drilled on what good customer service looked like that the that the uh, that the neighboring stores were actually were actually very much influenced by us and they learned how to be good customers because they knew because what we learned about good customer service that we would easily vote with our feet and needless to say the KFC franchise decided to get rid of that same manager so you know, go you know, go figure you know, another lesson learned is is um, I had a little strange situation this week with Bank X, and I've been a good customer with them for decades. 
then for some reason they decided to close my account and no reason and it's well you didn't apply you didn't confirm the terms and conditions we're closing your account and I went to speak to the supervisor and said oh we're not allowed to discuss it now mind you I'm not a customer I've, I've, I've got an exceptionally good high uh, credit score I got quite a bit of money in two accounts and then I got two very good credit cards with Bank X well needless to say I voted with my feet I closed up my checking account and went to went to a credit union I'm going to be and the, the moral of this is that I learned that I deserve to be treated with, with, with dignity and respect and with anybody who's been a victim of, of bullying, or been a victim of narcissistic abuse, who have been victims of cyber stalking, or, or have had, who have been smear campaigns, you know, we, we all deserve to be treated with dignity and respect, and do we want to really want to be around people like that? And you know, there's an old there's an old saying in many of the 12th group, 12th group groups that says, sober people, sober places. So what's this got to do with butterflies? Same thing. And if you're a lot of one thing I the one thing that I and, and turn syndrome butterflies have in common is, is the learned disabilities that we've all grown up with. And a lot of us have had intense bullying. And you know, it's wrong. And it, as I said at the beginning, it bullying is wrong Dis and disrespecting people and spreading lies and telling them it's wrong and the thing is too that, that, that a lot of people have been frustrated a lot, even Turner Syndrome sisters that I spoke to have been frustrated that it's not being addressed and you know maybe if your organization isn't addressing it Maybe it's time to go find a new organization or, or, or a community that will. I, I can't tell, you know, a butterfly how to, you know, how to, you know, live their, live their life. But I can say, though, that I deserve to be treated with dignity and respect. And I think the, the object lesson here is, is if I'm, if I'm in a situation where I'm banging my head against the wall, because nobody's understanding, just like the bank, that, you know, decided to act like something out of 1984. No, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna be in that type of situation. I'm not gonna be in a situation where somebody's gonna play mind games. I deserve to be treated with dignity and respect, and that applies to any butterfly, any butterfly mom and dad. That applies to any spouse, significant other, sibling, and friends of butterflies. I think the moral of the story is sometimes if we're not getting good treatment and then our communities are not addressing the situation, then maybe like the Burger King, maybe like Bank X, and maybe like our, the, the, our Turner Syndrome communities that are not willing to address the issue, and maybe it's, maybe it's time for, you know, you're, Maybe it's maybe the easy solution here is maybe it's time to vote with one's feet. And we all deserve to be treated with with dignity and, and respect. Anyway, uh, that's uh, you know, my my homily on, on the topic. As always, take what you like, leave the rest, and I'll talk to you next time.